This is a brief video highlighting methods to attach things together and hand build using clay. You can see that I have some simple tools, a clay knife, stick, scoring tool, slip, and I'm working on a dry paper surface with new clay that's in scraps. The first thing I do is I add a little bit of moisture to it and then I knead it together really strongly to get the air bubbles out. I'm going to begin with one of the most basic forms, which is a pinch pot. And to do that, I will roll the clay around and around to make it into a relatively smooth ball. To make my pinch pot, I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to thrust it into the ball until it goes all the way down to the bottom. And right before it comes out the bottom, then I start pinching around the sides and they'll get thinner and thinner and thinner. And occasionally I will check just how thin they are by using my finger. My little finger is a good guide for how thick the wall should be. It can be a little bit thinner than my finger. I pinch around and around and around, pulling up as I do it so that it doesn't get too wide. You'll see me checking with my fingers occasionally. My little finger is a good width for the wall of a pinch pot, and anything thicker than my thumb is too thick to go into the kiln. I'm also going to smooth things out occasionally, get rid of some of the blemishes as I go, and occasionally I'll get some recracking and I'll put some slip on it and I will smooth and smooth and smooth and pinch and pinch and pinch and this pot will get bigger and bigger as I do this. The sponge with either water or slip on it is a good way to smooth out edges and also rolling on a flat surface like this is another good way to smooth things out. Clay is very malleable and will pick up the texture of whatever you roll it on and if you roll it on something smooth it helps to smooth. Next I'm going to roll a coil to put a foot on this pinch pot and to make a coil I'm going to roll it between my hands first to get it sort of round and then I will roll it on a flat surface like this paper here that's relatively dry and it will make a nice smooth coil that way. You can see I roll it from the middle and then I roll it from the end and I checked the diameter with my finger to make sure that it was about the right size and then when I get a coil that's as long as or a little bit longer than I need, then I'll just size it and cut off the ends to give some nice flat ends to connect. Next I'm going to score the ends that I want to connect together. Now I can use any tool to do this, but the scoring tool does it quicker. So I'm going to use a scoring tool that's made out of little toothpicks and I'm going to really rough up those ends, get them nice and rough, and then I will put slip on both ends before I squish them together and let the slip come out the sides. Everything that you build will be strongest if it's made out of one piece, but if you have to connect clay, this is the only real way to do it, by scoring and slipping. If you don't score and slip both, it will most likely come apart. Now I'm going to score and slip this coil foot to the bottom. First I size it up, then I'm going to flatten it out a little bit just to make sure it's got a good surface. And then I'm going to score exactly where it needs to be. I can overscore a bit, that's fine. I need to score both halves, so I'm going to score on the coil itself as well as on the bottom of the pot. And then I need to make sure that the slip goes into all of the score marks on both sides. One side isn't quite enough, but if you can get the slip to squish in there, it might be. Either way, once I put it together, I want the slip to squish out the sides and then I can clean it up afterwards. Here I'm using a sponge and I'll use a wooden stick tool to make that joint look nice. Occasionally I will also run a little water or slip over the surface just to keep it moist and to smooth out any cracks that might be in the surface. If I see a crack, a little slip, maybe a sponge or my finger on the surface, and the crack goes away. Now I'm going to put a handle on this. The simplest handles are often made from coils. They're usually pretty thick coils, maybe about the thickness of my thumb or so. I can't get it too thick, but I can get it pretty hefty. I'm going to take these scraps and I'm going to knead them together with some moisture and I'm going to roll a thick coil here on this paper. You may notice that the paper is picking up some moisture and sticking to the clay a bit. It's not getting too out of hand now, but it should get any wetter, I might have to get another piece of paper or fold it to another side. Once I have the coil about the size that I want, 
and I'm checking it over and over again, I'm going to flatten it a bit just to make sure that it's not perfectly round. Watch that your clay doesn't get too dry when you're rolling a coil. Here I'm smoothing it out with some slip on the outside to help keep it moist and I'm going to cut it off in an angle. That will give me a stronger joint in the end when I curl this around just because the handle will be going upward a bit rather than straight out from the side. I'm also going to curl the bottom around and to do that I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to score and slip the very end of it in place to make sure that it sort of stays stuck. Notice I'm using the little scoring tool there. I'll put some slip in there and squish them together as well to make sure that they stay that way. As usual, I want the slip to squirt out and then I clean it up afterwards. So here's my handle, my handle shape. To make sure that it will stay stuck to my cup slash bowl, I'm going to score it where it's going to connect. And I'm going to score the cup on the same places there. Going right through some of the old joints and part of the foot, I'm really, really going to tear it up. And then I'm going to make sure that there's slip in every part of those joints, because this needs to be a very strong fit. Pushing it together, I make sure the slip squirts out the side, and then I can clean it up afterwards with a sponge or a brush or my finger or a stick, anything that will clean that up and get it nice and smooth around there. You'll also notice that the bottom of that handle went a little bit below the bottom of the foot, so I pressed it down on the table to get it nice and flat there, and it's going to add some more stability to my cup as well because there's a little bit of an extra foot on the side with that curl. Now I hope this has shown you what you need to see. I've made a pinch pot. I have put several pieces of clay together, and every time I have, I scored and slipped it in place to make a solid piece of clay.